Good morning lovelies. Today I'm taking you again to Munich city and I'm actually a bit late. It's 11 or something and I was supposed to meet up with a friend for um, breakfast at 11 and yeah we are here so let's go have some food. So it's me again and I just finished the breakfast with a friend of mine. She went home but I decided to go for a walk through the city center again and here I'm now in Karolinenplatz. So here behind me you see this this tall tall obelisk. There behind there is Königsplatz and now I'm gonna probably walk towards um, Karlsplatz, Stachus as they call it here as well. And from there I'll see where my feet take me, so let's keep walking. Look guys, it's finally springing. It's finally some more flowers everywhere, everywhere on the ground as well. If you can see the little purple ones, super, super cute. And this is actually one of my favorite place, places in the city center. I'll look here as well. Super cute. Um, it's kind of a park uh, right kind of behind the Karlsplatz, also in between Karlsplatz and Torianzplatz. And at the very beginning, closer to Stachus, there's also a fountain that's gonna be closed right now. Usually, all the fountains they close them in the city for winter, like they cover them completely as well, so you can't even see what's underneath. But I guess I'm still gonna show you guys how it looks like without anything just the wood the cover and yeah it's a lovely day today as well so i might as well take a bit of longer walk than planned initially and this is what i mean that they cover everything uh, all the fountains in the city for winter and just like kind of closing everything up i think it's even locked or yeah nailed down and this way, yeah, I guess it just to protect the structure from freezing, but also from all the trash, like this, for example. Because, you know, people are just people, and unfortunately, most of the time they, um, doing, they're doing the weird stuff. But anyway, I really like this place in summer. It's like water is coming out, and you can just sit on the edge and watch this beautiful place. Also watch people, watch cars passing by. It's really nice for people watching. And I'm almost at Carl's Plus and actually thought I'm gonna stop at one shopping center uh, of Apollinger. It's like kind of luxury stuff they have. Because I wanted to see if they have one bag that I've been thinking about for the past couple of days that I might wanna buy soon. And I just wanted to see if they have it to kind of see the size and stuff in real life. But they probably don't have the color that I'm looking for. And this is it. This is the Kaspatz. And let's go get to our Polinga. It's right around the corner. There is so, so many people out here today. Also some fruit stands, super cute. And this is the shopping center that I was talking about. Our Polinga, let's go inside. Love, love D or South, but it's unaffordable for me now. I think I found the store I was looking for. It's Chloe. Let's see what I have. to get but uh, I was looking actually for a C by Chloe but it doesn't look like they have it so that was it for my shopping spree. Now let's continue our outdoors walk and 
yeah, this place is pretty cool. They have a lot of things in one place. And it's also open like regular uh, 10 to 8, also Saturdays. So pretty nice. And we're outside again on the street. So much better, so much more fresh air. It was super hot in there. Then in case you forgot where we are, we are in Germany still. I'm now taking one of the uh, smaller streets uh, than the main ones to just avoid the crowds. As you can see, there are still people. But hey, it's better than uh, really being like squeezed in between them on the main streets. Hello, so we're back at home and uh, after getting home, of course, I said hi to my kitties. <laughs> And then we went for a walk uh, together with my boyfriend, which was very nice. We did like um, one and a half hour walk around the park here nearby. It was sunny, windy, annoyingly windy, but sunny at least, because tomorrow is gonna be raining and maybe even snowing. Middle of March, it's still uh, gonna be snowing. So yeah, it was really nice to just get out into the sunshine, get some vitamin D. And now it's already the evening time, so for lunch we had, actually we had different food, so he had some Asian uh, like rice noodles uh, with uh, some meat or something, and I made myself some mac and cheese, some like very nice and warm and comforting pasta, so that's very nice. And now I think I'm gonna bake some muffins, banana muffins, so... Uh, how about I share with you how I'm doing that? Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna need uh, about one and a half cup of flour, about a half a cup of sugar, a bit of salt, some baking powder, some oil, vegetable oil, uh, eggs, some milk, uh, some vanilla extract, and optional, well, uh, here they say blueberries, but I'm gonna add some chopped banana because I don't have any blueberries. Uh, yeah, so let's get cracking. the batter it's ready and it's all over my hands and yeah so you as you just saw I added some uh, chopped banana just simply because I wanted to have some banana chunks instead of like kind of banana bread style muffin so that's the reason if you were wondering and now I'm just gonna put it into the muffin tray and into the oven <music> So 25 minutes later, they are ready. Look nice and tanned and also they raised a bit, so that's nice. Uh, I put them in for 25 minutes um, at 200 degrees Celsius. I think it's about 400 degrees Fahrenheit, but double check that, so don't trust me blindly. And now I'm gonna just let them rest here and meanwhile make some tea. like that 25 minutes and I have my um, tea time well kind of dinner time but tea time anyway so let's see how it looks like on the inside they're still warm but I cannot wait to try and see because well not a, maybe the best baker cook but I do do it quite a lot and it's different every time so let's see 
There you go. Look like as it's so nice and fluffy. And it tastes like a muffin with banana. <laughs> Can you imagine? Mm. Mm. Cheers. So now I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the muffin since I already started it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.